Hey guys! So, as you can tell, a little elevated this time. I got myself there. Amazon. Big with shipping handling was like 80 bucks. But. So, it's a little bit elevated, and as you can tell, I don't have a camera because I'm doing another model kit today, which today it is going to be burning gum again. Yes, I've done a few since my last one was because it was shining on them and it just, it was more likely a test out for um, new piece of equipment and seeing what the master grade was going to be like. So they're both the exact same model. So we're doing that. And we're going to get a bit master grade. And if you're wondering why, hold it like that, I actually have a few things to kind of show. When you see someone go to oh, what do you mean new equipment? Got the god hand, guys. Hold on to me. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna turn that back on because don't really have the uh, computer camera. Not really got great with lighting, so we got that. And also, reason why I for organization. They don't now. I gotta tell them to get something. Like, or goes, why is this one off site? Like, uh, because it doesn't have really a way to stick on to the. <laughs> So the, or, so the runner organizer, organizer that great. You see me like reaching over here, it's because of, oh, and it don't stay on there well when I left it up. That was um, one of my, two of my runners falling over. So, um, yeah. you actually get one of these. Um, best thing not to move it when you got runners on them. Oh, quit being a little bitch. Obviously, I'm not going to be heads now. Yeah, no. Um, got this in um, about a week ago. Just because of how my work schedule's been. Okay, those three are not going on it. Because they don't like staying on. Now. You want to know, like, literally the size difference. Just get this. So, I got them in the same pose, so as closely. Ooh. Yeah, I'm have them right here. This is high grade. And it's massive! Yeah, uh, that falls off all the time, not because of model paid, because of my part out. So, yep, yeah. we're going to be doing this grade today of Burning Gundam. I'm not going to put them in anything to do opposed since I can move them. Like I said, I just screwed up a part when I was putting it together. So we are... This is going to know the crap out of me if I just up and I have an organizer. Because it's 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 numbered, so I thought it was going to be good. But because some of these, since this model is a two thousand two model, it's not as like before they did some improvements. So there's like some stuff about it that's not, that has not been like. Mainstream, like, um, like the um, like the strike gun that I did as my first uh, as my first build. Oh my god, these things like get them in once and then they don't want to freaking go back in correctly again. I think it's just because some of the some of the plastic is semi warped is all. Because it is a, these are older, but there's this is an older model. The, um, but um, the one thing I do like about Bandai with their Gundam models, they don't actually put them out of circulation, but they're just knock over. That would have been my.
And importance of keeping a clean workspace. I have no idea what I just knocked over. No, oh, it's just my bottle of WD-40. Never mind. So nothing incredibly important. Like I said, since how this one is basically how they injected it and designed it, uh, that's just going to be right there. Now then, let us get on to here. This like, and this is in Japanese. Can't because I don't think I have the. I don't think I have the. Yeah, crap! I didn't have. I, so the quality doesn't seem that great. Be aware, it is my computer camera, so the resolution is going to be kind of shoddy at most. So I do apologize. Anything seen blurry? I do apologize in advance, guys. All right, let's work on part one. Why did I start this up without grabbing my freaking screwdriver? Yes, that's actually something else we're going to be needing. We're going to be needing screwdrivers. Which I got one right here. It's a pen one. don't really like it, but I don't know where my nice bulk one is. And... You know, I have Spotify on my PS5 right now up. Um, that's my more recent playlist. Let's say played. Um, Um, let's see here. Um, hmm. let us go with, you know, Uh, oh, that's battle themes. Uh, um, hmm. You know, since I'm wearing a Witcher shirt. I think that's, uh, let's have that play. Excuse me, if I finish my last piece of my chicken, and I had, had one piece left. Yeah, some things have never changed. Still mildly may eat all while I'm doing a stream or a video, guys. If you guys ask, like, why I do this one today, well, I ordered this one at the beginning of the month. I have a little extra money. And, um,. It's, and so this one I actually bought as an early birthday present, which was yesterday. So if anyone wants to say happy birthday, I'll tell you for that. Okay, me G3. And the one thing I love about these clippers, guys, <laughs> is they're super professional, and you clip, clip, clip. So one thing I 
was a little annoyed with, with the last one I had. With actually the one major difference, and also this one right here has a, is a single blade, so it doesn't squish the parts down as much, and I can actually get a lot closer. So there's not really any um, needing to take to get my exacto blade, like take my exacto blade and trimming and trimming parts anymore. Like that's kind of the reason why I got the um, high grade um, shining. I can do that without having to. Um, right. Not sure if you're gonna be able to notice. Like, there's not really any reason for me to do like, to do any um, like, trimming of that sort. I need to clear off my desk area a bit when I do when I do this. So I may go, like, shouldn't you do that anyways? Like, uh, yeah, but I'm excited. G25. I'm excited. I have been working on the place. Well, someone goes, well, when are you going to do, like, an actual stream stream? Um... Possibly tomorrow. Um, after, because like tomorrow is my last day off for the week, and so I'm be going like, so what are you gonna? I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna be going. Well, what are you streaming? You're kind of like just monologue. Um. So tonight, SD Gundam Metal Alliance comes out. Now I already have it down. I already have it downloaded, and all that. Um, because me and my friend um, we um, are planning on playing that together. So if so, that is why I'm more likely to make stream tomorrow. Um, so if you get so, if, so for that, that is going to be what I'm doing tomorrow. Okay, I misplaced my scissors. All right. And if this takes longer than, if I'm not that far in about three hours, we uh, this will be a postponed build. To do. do later. This is really just um, get of the shoulder piece, and some may go, how do you know that already? Well, when I did Shining Gundam, um, he has, uh, they have certain parts that are similar. I've already looked up the, I've already looked up the instructions, and there are some, some parts that, um, they're very, very, very similar. And I gotta be careful because this is a very tiny screw.
Okay, there we go. There's the first part. Yeah. Like, unlike the high grade and entry grade, these parts do not just snap on. You actually gotta screw them together because besides the forearm piece, the, the master grade is very sturdy, where I have like this part because I kind of screwed up, pops off very easily. But if you notice, the other side is because I that was a um, a user mistake that I did. Kind of the same with the forearm piece. All right, now we need. F1. I'm just going to get this out. There we go. Now, I can actually do a little. Let's see. I did do a little mess up. Mess ups happen every now and then. This is like just some trimming. There we are. It's early enough to where we can actually fix a mistake. And being that I have done um, one master grade already, I just got to remind myself to be careful when I put when I start putting some other parts together. Okay, G27, G1, and G2, and G5. And of course, these steps will be repeated, but we just put them together in reverse. Like, but when we put them together, it's going to be assembled in, not assembled in reverse order, like how, how I make it sound. But eventually, eventually, like, it'll look like it's swapped since it's on the opposite, on the opposite end. Twenty seven five. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure if I would try doing this with my other ones, just for how how big and clunky they are, I would have a hard time getting in comparison to using it. So it, it was a $60 piece of equipment, but I, it was worth it. Oh, there we are. There's 27. Oh, there's two 27. It really didn't matter which one I picked. So something you kind of notice if you get a master grade, you'll see some parts will, um, will have repeating numbers just so you're not confused on which one to do. Which I think is kind of cool. Now I gotta get this one. So I can assemble that. I just gotta be careful. These are kind of, because these are part of like kind of small pieces. Like the one thing I don't like about this one is comparison to the Shining Gunda model, they actually labeled which screws are which. I'm doing a lot of guesswork here. I 
And this part, you kind of you got to be careful because I was about 90, 95% um, complete with shiny when I actually had to disassemble. This is actually an elbow joint. And I actually had the jo had the hinges full, like, I had them full lipped 180 of how they're supposed to be connected. So I ended up having to take it completely. I had to take one of the elbow pieces completely apart. A pain, because I don't actually have a um a Gundam part separator. And I and these are the wrong screws. They're too big. Kind of what I mean about how I had to be careful with this, and I'm trying my best not to lose these because it because um I don't have to spec they didn't give me any spares, so if I lose it, I essentially I'm gonna have to do I have to pause the stream until I find the part. Well, it's not even, it's not a stream; it's a recording. It's like it's like. It's like, why do you get that confused? Like, because when you do 90% 90, 90 of streams with your channel, you tend to forget which one's which, especially when you do in a recorded session. Which means you get to do a lot more scrub. And you guys may end up laughing your butt off half the time. Yeah, this looks more right. I'm not going to try to get that back in the baggie. So I have it right there. Yeah, since I don't know where the magnetic piece is for this, I cannot actually have the screwdriver stay in. So that's why you guys see me holding my screwdriver like this. That's not good. Yeah, remember what I just said? Yeah, it happened. It's a spare piece, so unless if I really need it, I'll get it. That's kind of a stupid, stupid mentality. It's like kind of, but last time I built, last time I built one of these, one of the pieces was actually like there were some parts that were spares. And I've lost some of the, like, some of the Gundams, like the high grades parts, have fallen off. Uh, all right. So, like I said, we got that. Get this in. So we got like full. It's gonna be kind of tense because you do wanna. Like, there we go. Sometimes you get in, need to do a little work to. Loosen up the joints. Now we got do the Gundam, like the, the shoulder pads. So we're going to be doing D11 and D10. And I'm going to need to also get the nice squishy bitty part. And I'm pretty sure some of you guys are going to be, like, going, so... 
what have you been doing if you haven't been streaming when you like when you work when you're not working like well mostly it's just me doing stuff with Miku working going to the zoo, zoo. yeah the compass is pretty awesome yeah, like I do recommend people come to Columbus to check it out. And going to Cedar Point, which is somewhat postponed right now until we get our car fixed because of an accident that she was in. She's perfectly fine. But it's just the cars and the, the cars and the mechanic shop right now. There we go. Right now we get to do a semi-assemble. The one I clipped from already. And then we are going to get we're gonna connect these two pieces together. Now we need F11 and ooh, we need to get G7. Oops, I kind of went a little ahead. My eyes are wandering too much. I need to get my eyes checked, obviously. So shouldn't you not be doing models then? Like, going, no, you can't. It's just, I make small, teeny, tiny mistakes. It's mostly just me accidentally skipping a few parts, a few, um, a few steps that I can easily enough go back to. So not us connecting those. So I'm just gonna keep that part right there. You can get Yusa there. So I need F six, which is this guy. This little, this little guy right here. So I need C10. That's one of those ones where they use duplicate numbers, so really doesn't matter what doesn't matter which one. Silver for monsters. Sorry. <laughs> right, there we go. Now, if you're wondering what the shoulder piece looks like, so technically the shoulder's completely fi finished. And that's something that's not on. It technically is on the high grade, but it's a lot more, like you can see, you get a lot more. Um, 
get a lot more detail in comparison. Which I'm feeling like that because I haven't had to do this with um, with burning, where I don't actually well something I noticed well, not burning something I didn't have to do with sh with masquerade shining was paint it. I'm going to go like, well, what do you mean by that? Like the lining, like I might have to do a little lining because as you guys know, some of the stickers are already falling off and it's only been a week. <laughs> But, um, but there's really little paint I gotta do. Be back. Yeah, but we're, um, yeah, no, we're we're trying to get um some equipment to do some um to do videos of when we go to theme parks, which Cedar Point is one that is a local. And I use local very loosely. And I'm pretty sure Tom would go, what do you mean by by loosely? It's three hours away! Okay, nine. Yeah, so... And that's just one that she personally like personally likes to go to because there is one um, part of the um, part of the franchise that's closer, but um, that the one like the, the King's Island Park, which is by the same company, um, it's cl closer, but we don't like it because of things that happen there. It's the best way to put it. Like what fights mostly? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we get a lot of perverts who are weird at that at, um, at Cedar, but I'm kind of used to hearing hearing those kind of, those kind of incidents. All right, here we go. Doesn't mean I'm totally immune from from the um, when stuff happens. That's going to be a weird one. Okay, so that actually is how it's supposed to piece together. Now I need A27, which is one of the claw bits. It's like the real big... Ooh, I got... Almost... It's almost time for SD Gundam to be... Be playable, guys. I am looking forward to it. I'm just wondering, like, because I played the demo, beat the demo to crap. And everyone goes, what do you mean by you beat the demo to crap? Um, how do I put this? I maxed all the suits that they give you in the demo out already. It's a little thought. Well, you can only go up to level 5, but still.
And I'm pretty sure someone will go, why did you pick The Witcher um, for music today? Um, quite simple. Like, I'm actually a pretty big Witcher fan. The, I've read the first book. I'm in the middle of work. I actually have, I can't, I have the ability to listen to audiobooks. I'm about one-fourth way through the second book. Is what it is. So... Series is just I, I I really like the series. But what about the game? Like oh I love the game. I just like the book a little bit more. I, I just like the books a bit more, guys. That's just how um, when you have multiple ways to enjoy a series, it's just how it is. There we go. Done. All right, <clears throat> got that. Now we can actually work on doing getting this. piece, which again, these are duplicates, so I'm sure some of you are going, it's like, so because you're listening to music, are you going to stream the Witcher game? Um, third one, yes. I tried to when I was living at the hotel for a time, and because of how bad the quality was, I, as you guys noticed, I took it down. Because I was not aware, because it's half the time. Um, I don't rewatch some of my stuff, so sometimes I'm not aware about the video quality until someone alerts me. Which half the time it tends to be my wife. Or she tells, hey, you need to take that down and redo the video. I'm like, going, all right. And she alerted me that it, um, the quality was not great. So I did. Um, so I end up redoing it. I'm going to redo it at a later date. This one have the hands. Nope. All oh, right. The um, one thing I kind of like about a um, masquerade. So this is a hand one. As you can, as can tell, it's like 
it's wibbly wobbly. Or this one doesn't have the hands. No, it does. Oh, there's the hands. Which I gotta be a little extra careful. Uh, because because it being a little extra softer than the rest, I can actually nick the parts. And we got a full arm here, guys. Yeah, remember when I told you you gotta be careful about putting this together? That goes into the torso. Like I said, I. Okay, that's the part that fell a little while ago. Um, there's my screwdriver. I gotta find the head. Knock that head. Dirty. about that. <laughs> Wasn't horrendously lost. This took me a little bit. So I'd be going, how are you going to take it apart when, when you don't have this part separate? So you can get a flathead screwdriver. Slowly. I say slowly, but in reality, I'm just, I'm a little. Now, that's not ruined at all, thank God. Now I can actually work on... It's just like the layers with the song that's on that's on right now. Okay, so I can't get this part undone. I'm essentially gonna have to have that as the left side and just redo the step. 
and just make sure I don't put it together incorrectly. All right, so I know this is this one right here is for the is for the left side. I'm just going to put the screw back in. Um, crap. Um, that is then going to be on the search list. Well, I will look for that piece. 
later. For really dumb reasons. So just pausing like I did before. That's because I really <laughs> But like, is it important? It's like, yeah, it is. But it's easy enough. That's when I find it, it's going to be easily enough found. It's going to drive me insane! Pretty sure some goes like, why can't you just find it? It's why. You guys can kind of hear in the background. Um, my office space is one of the best condition. So, just like, yay. Don't drink from bottles, guys. Alright. Now, the video where we, so, we're semi at. Got to put that on too, because I got lost in what we were doing before. Nope. We need that part. Is it seven? Seven, right here. And really, G7 is just to hide the crew. There we go. Oh my god, never mind. No wrong with why I freaking said. It's going to drive me insane. Screw it. For now. Okay. So, there we go. We got the first arm done. After quitting the way. Now we are doing the left arm. There we are. We're already up to an hour 
armor on this, and I've only gotten one arm done. I think this is going to be a multi-parter, guys, for for the for recording purposes. I mean, this part of my freaking desk is not going to be clean. Yay! Whatever. Now we do second part of what, and this one I do need to be kind of careful with, like I said before. Like, kind of the reason why, if you ever want to do recording. Building these always good to have to use when you don't want um, you want to you want to do as your first one. I guess I think at two, yeah, two hours. I think we'll, if it's, I'm at a decent point. You know, because after this, it's after the arm, we start working on the leg. All the way over here. And I'm pretty sure someone's going to be asking me what is going to be the next model kit I'm going to do after this. Um, I have a real grade that's still in the middle of being processed through. Um, through bigbagtoys.com. Like, they're still waiting on their, like, ever, because it's been about a month since I've ordered from them. And they told me that they're still waiting on the shipment of them, like, through the pre order program. So, I really have no idea when I'm going to be able to start working on that one. Well, I can tell you when I'm going to start working on it when it comes in. But is the but the bigger question is going to be, are you going to, like, are you going to do a, are you going to build that on camera? I may. I may still do that one as a, because, yeah, it's a, it's essentially the size of a of a real grade, but a more organic, intricate design to where it's a lot more poseable. Like the burning grade, like the like the high grade burning burning Gundam can't be put into its iconic arm folding pose. Which is what I am going to try to do with this guy when I get done. When I get done building him.
But some go, why? The iconic pose he does. He does the entire pose. When it, when he, when it, when um Damon summons them in 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 G Gundam, like that's the one thing I was upset about. Like I can get him into the fighting pose and the erupting burning finger pose, but that's about it. But I still gotta be careful because he's very the model is very back heavy because of the core lamp. And the thing I'm really hoping hoping for is that this grade is a lot more balanced because as you guys kind of noticed the finding Gundam is very um it's very support like it's very sturdy when I have it sanded but it's but it's much more balanced out in um But it's a lot more balanced out with um, weight distribution. For um, because of the size of Corlander in that one. We go back to here. And if you're wondering how I'm playing my music today, guys, I am using Spotify on my PS5. Okay. Hands being all screwy right now. Um, may I have to cut this like after I build the arm? Because my hand is being extremely shaky. As I'm super, super freaking hungry. So, may I have to cut this one short, guys. I'm, I apologize. Um, at least, hey, listen to what your body tries telling you. And, yeah. I'm actually having a hard time trying to get in between the parts I'm supposed to snip. Yeah, so unfortunately I may have to end it with the arms today. Or else I would go way longer.
Right. If you guys are like wondering why I'm not muttering the, the numbers out anymore, because it's just a repeat. Now we get to make the second burning finger gauntlet. That's what I like to call the blue part. Which, yeah, there is actually a set out for the compliments. This one is called the Master Grade Accessory Kit, and it's specifically for Burning Grade, which gives him the energy emitters. Um, Ray, um, uh, something that has to do with spoilers about a white mechanical horse. Yeah. <laughs> G Gundam got weird. Now, like I said, I can't really say what that one's like, that's all about. Oh my god. It does not. I'm not the type of guy to, like, really explain spoilers. Like, I don't care. It's like, you know, like, one person in the comment section may not care, but the rest may do. Gauntlet piece. Yeah, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it a little early, guys, for this. It's really just because my hand is is still acting kind of screwy right now, and I don't want to accidentally um, cut myself really badly. Um, so. So I am, I actually am going to be calling it a little early for this, and we'll do a part two on um, later day. I know some are going to be going, oh, but we've been waiting for the next part of Final Fantasy Seven, and you haven't gotten down to that yet. I'm like, going, well, trying to find the time to do a stream is, to me, is a little different than um, 
and find time to make a recording because with the recording I can do it at any given time and post that at any given time. While streams, I have to make sure my, well, essentially my um, schedule um, is clear for it and not super duper tired. And someone wants to go, it's like, oh, that sounds like you're just being lazy. Halfway, actually. You wouldn't be wrong. So you'd be actually kind of right on that. I'm also kind of having a hard time gripping some of these parts now for how um, exhausted my hand is getting right now. So you'd be right on a certain degree. Have this backwards. Like, why the hell do they have to put brown carpeting on here? And if you're, like, wondering why I'm so upset... One of the pieces fell off while I was trying to freaking adjust it. You're like, well, how do you know it hit the floor? Because it hit my foot! Because my eyesight's slightly going off. Because of that. Okay, how about this, guys? I'm just going to finish... Putting... Yeah, I'm essentially I think I'm gonna be like doing some of this without you, because I gotta find that piece before I can finish the arm. So when uh, I the next part, it's get, I'm gonna it's gonna be ahead until the arm gets fit. Actually, no. I'll look for that in this. I'm gonna finish this part up. Just should have made sure I was well fed before I did this. It's like you're just eating chicken. All right. I'm pretty sure my wife is going to be watching this going, you should have ate beforehand. You know how your hands get when you don't eat. Oh my god, you do not want to stay in your new home.
stay in your new home. Stay. Stay. And everything goes like he's talking to his pieces again. It's like, yeah, that's your entertaining part about to say. Oh, because this is going to get posted. So I'm going to be posting this immediately. Um, if anyone here um, is getting SD Gundam Battle Alliance, I'll put my gamer tag in. Like, you guys know my gamer tag. Um, you're more than welcome to join me and my friend Pixel when we decide to try to play the game tonight. Like, absolutely more than welcome to join us. We've actually been wanting to find some because our other friend, um, how do we put it? He likes playing old games, like, on the PS5. I'm a nostalgic gamer, but if you've had a chance to play some of these games when they came out, ah. Uh, kind of wasting your time and just play it on the original one. Um, me, on the other hand, for some of the games I play, I didn't get to play like that. So, I'm an exception to that rule. Like, don't get me wrong, I still I still appreciate that being on the newer consoles. Like, if the console doesn't work anymore, then yeah. But don't play it all the damn time. Don't play that, those ones all the darn time. I am dropping everything today. Go, well, why did you have to lose that? Because I kept, because I paid close attention to where it fell. Okay. So I don't accidentally lose that. There we go. So, this is unfortunate as far as I can make it today. Now I gotta, because after this, I gotta find that piece I found so I can complete the arm. So, when you guys, when I do the second part, um, this is gonna be, com this is gonna be completely assembled. Just wanna let you guys be aware of that. So no, it's not that I left you guys out. I was wanting to have you guys part of that, but um, my hands had a different height. My hands had a different idea. So there we go. That's going to be it for today, guys. Um, and this one I found on... Um, on Amazon, 
a really decent price. And this actually got shipped all the way from Japan. It was like had brown paper, like had cardboard on top of it and wrapped two layers of bubble wrap. So, um, Let me real quickly um, get that guy. So to get the the seller, like I think this came all the way from from Bandai Spirits too. Like, I think it was a seller that got his stuff directly from there. So, okay, so it was shipped by someone by the name of, like, hold on. Uh, I'm actually going to try to see if I can find the actual seller information. So this was, um, so this one gets, um, it was called the Bandai Hop, Hop, Hobby Master Grade God Gundam G Gundam uh, BAN 106042. And let's see here. Seller. Uh, Wire Dream Japan is the person you, is that um is the seller information so if you want it so if you're impressed with what it looks like so far um on the file when i find when i finish this up i will have the actual product in the below so we'll look at that when i finish this up uh, it might be a bit because my hands keep on screwing it up like they are <sighs> um and again, if you guys want to um, put a recommendation of what you want to listen to instead, instead of The Witcher next time, and this is just The Witcher 3, which, well, The Wild Hunt um, soundtrack for, on Spotify. So I will see you guys later. Hopefully I will have enough free time to do a stream, possibly tomorrow when I get some tours done. So I will see you next time. Like always, signing off.